Hi, I'm here with Joe Omansky. Joe created the Skyring system, a patent hedge fund rating system which actually sold to Morningstar. He is now co-founder of Trusted Insight, a social marketplace for alternative investments. Joe, please tell me about Trusted Insight. Oh, hi Paula, and thank you so much. It's been uh, it's a pleasure being with you today. Well, Trusted Insight is uh, LinkedIn for institutional investors only. So endowments, foundations, sovereign wealth funds, family offices, pension funds, uh, some banks, uh, uh, insurance companies who are actively investing in alternative assets are welcome to join our community for no cost. A trusted insight is we're a venture funded company and some of our investors are the same ones who provided early capital to LinkedIn, Facebook, and Mint.com, as well as Blackstone. Uh, over the past, you were two and a half years old, and over the past year with the launch, uh, actually it's been about 14, 15 months since we launched the new platform, we've grown from about a thousand institutional investors engaging with Trusted Insight Weekly to over 40,000. Um, one of the statistics that we're really proud of is about 83% of our users are still engaging with Trusted Insight six months after they signed up. Wow, that's great. And how does your revenue model work then if they sign up for free? Well, the way the revenue model works is in a very similar way to Trusted Insight. Institutional investors on the LP side are free to sign up uh, and there's no cost for a basic membership. Fund managers get a limited access to the site and for a subscription fee, they get all access. Okay, great. How do you create value for your users? So the practice of investing for institutional investors uh, in alternative assets is very inefficient. Uh, there's not that much information available on hedge funds, private equity, and real estate funds in an LP structure. Uh, so what we're doing is, um, and believe it or not, there's about uh, about $3 trillion of assets going into investment decisions by these users. And they have limited staff. On average, uh, a foundation, for example, uh, that has $5 billion of assets, you'd be surprised, Paula, that only two or three investment professionals have the responsibility uh, to invest that capital. Very, very difficult to do. So what Trusted Insight does is we are, are telling the institutional investors who they should be talking with and we're bringing efficiencies to the process of allocating capital based upon what the users are doing on the site. And what would the value be for fund managers on the site? Well, fund managers who sign up on Trusted Insight are able to post news on their fund or on the industry. Uh, high quality videos, like the one we're doing hopefully, and jobs, uh, and have it distributed to over 40,000 institutional investors who are using our platform. The managers receive detailed reports on aggregate trends from the institutional investment community and recommendations on with whom they should be connecting and talking. This saves uh, a lot of time for the managers uh, and uh, you know, over, we've raised, uh, we believe on, on the platform, we don't focus on it because we don't, uh, we don't share in the revenue. We're subscription based, unlike some of the other companies out there who are making money on the transactions that are happening. But much like AngelList, uh, Trusted Insight uh, has been very successful for the fund managers. The platform has raised over $500 million for fund managers who have decided to use Trusted Insight to date. Great. And now you mentioned that your revenue model is different than some of your competitors. What are some other factors that make you different from your competitors? Well, since the beginning, we've been hyper-focused on building a technology company. And we're really interested in what do our users want? And then building features that are beautiful and easy to use for those users. Uh, financial services is, is an industry that's ripe for bringing efficiencies and improving the process uh, within the industry. 
And that's what we've been focused on. We have not been focused on, on monetization or optimizing the amount of money that we make by building the community, where some of the others uh, seem to be interested in building a brokerage firm with a social component. We think that if we can build a high level of user engagement for the most influential investor across the globe, and we can watch carefully how frequently they're coming back to the site and, and the value that they're, that they're receiving from the platform that we've built, then everything else should fall into place. So we are actually making money, we're revenue producing now, and we're, we're happy about that process. But we're not that interested in optimizing our business model yet. We will in the future, though. Okay, great. And Joe, I, I know you're busy, so I have one last question for you. Tell me your predictions for your company in the next year. Well, we're pretty happy about this past year, so we're not going to change too much. We are. Um, we we want uh, we want to basically um, continue what we've been doing with monitoring what our, what our users like and what they don't like based upon what they're actually doing on the site. Uh, in comparison to this past year where we added a number of features, believe it or not, in the next 12, mo 12 months, I anticipate that we'll be removing features that aren't working very well and working hard to, to improve those features who, that are working well. So that's, uh, that's what I think we'll be, we'll be doing for the next year. Great. Well, I wish you luck in all of that. I thank you for meeting with me. And if you're interested in learning more and connecting with Joe Omansky, go to fundology.com.